What's happening, RFK High School? Mr. Flood here. Um, David Flood coming back with a little reminder message, a couple messages actually. I was at your school a couple weeks ago. I know like most of you have probably forgotten, maybe three of you remember. Um, but I wanted to come back, guys and girls, for two reasons. I hope you're all well. Uh, I told Mr. Cohen I, I would send a video just to follow up on the messages that I gave you. Uh, the challenges that I gave you when I was there, and also to say thank you because you treated me with dignity and respect. It was a great day for me, uh, meeting with the peer, peer mentors and peer leaders and had a great conversation with some girls after uh, I gave the assembly. Just so powerful. There's so many great people there. Um, there's so many great people at your school uh, who have so much to contribute Um and I would encourage you to connect with them. I think some great connections were made that day when I was there. So thank you for that. And just on a side note, so you guys know, just like I'm very self-deprecating and don't mind embarrassing myself, I was a little bit hurried when I came into your school in the morning and I parked quick and you know walked down a street and then down another street and then over a couple blocks and came into the school. And when I came out, I had forgotten where I parked. I know. Don't worry. It'll all ha it'll happen to all of you when you get to be 50 years old. I uh, I walked around, guys and girls, for an hour to find my truck. Um, I knew I had parked by the Opal, which is like a housing project, a housing complex near this behind the school. And I even stopped and talked to some policemen uh, who laughed at me. Two very young policemen, nice officers, but they laughed at me for losing my truck. And um, they wanted to, but they really, they couldn't drive me around to find it. So I walked around for about an hour. So anyway, uh, just let, let you know that. I thought you'd all laugh, get a kick out of that. Remember the three challenges I gave you when I was there. Look on the inside of people. Um, don't judge people by the outside. Don't form an opinion. We all judge people, but don't form an opinion on uh, based on that judgment until you get to know someone. The second challenge is to reach out and give thanks and show respect for two adults in the building. You all absolutely positively need to have a go-to adult um, that you can go to when you're jammed up, when you're struggling with some, something or someone um, to, uh, to confide in and to get some direction from. So reach out and connect with two adults. And the third thing you know, that I said to you guys, and I don't know what the dynamic is in your cafeteria, but no one should have to eat alone. Don't let anyone eat alone. And look for places where you can include people you know, in conversations, in, in groups, in whatever, you know, look for opportunities to pull people into your group. Whenever I'm out in public or with my friends or wherever we are with a party, I always like, love to introduce people that don't know each other. Or if we're having a conversation and someone's standing there and they're really not contributing because they don't kind of know what we're talking about, I always ask them, you know, what do you think about this? What do you think about that? Um, so look for places where you can include people. So so important uh, to do that. And no one eats alone, you know, in the cafeteria. Everybody just wants to sit with someone and have a good time, you know, for that half 20 minutes, half hour of lunch, you know, to feel included at that social time. So I hope you enjoyed this video from my tropical island. As you can see, I got my fruit in the background. Um, I'm actually in my kitchen. I'm not on a tropical island, as you guys can figure. So I had a great time there with you. Uh, I hope all of you seniors who are graduating go on and do, you know, awesome things. And I look forward to coming back to RFK in the future. And this time I'll remember or mark where I parked my car. Have a good day, guys. Have a happy Easter, happy Passover, whatever holidays you're celebrating upcoming. Um, and happy St. Patrick's Day. Those of you who are celebrating happy uh, St. Patrick's Day. Have a great day.